Hey everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you the next video tutorial of uh, Angular uh, with CRUD operations in uh, with the ASP.NET Core REST API. So in this video tutorial I am going to add some data in the database table so you can check uh, first of all the database connection string uh, where we have a student info DB that is the database name. So just search the database name in the server explorer where your table is there and uh, uh, here we have it some tables like uh, student address and uh, and the genders so add some data uh, in the students as well as add uh, data in the address and the gender as well so uh, here we have the list where you can add uh, some data in, into the database tables so wait for some times because it's take uh, time to rendering the tables okay the view of the tables are there and uh, you can insert uh, by manually you can uh, enter some text it here in the titles as well as the descriptions so in the title you can take male as well and the description also female as well okay so in the uh, gender field you can take three uh, data uh, you know well uh, like the male female and others and in the uh, the second fields there is the student uh, uh, students um, table so you can enter in uh, here we have some data like a name birth date email contact profile image and the gender id so here we have uh, some name of the student like ABC, birth date is 1937 there is uh, my birth date and the email is there like uh, abc at the red of gmail.com and contact and profile image is null by default and the letter session I will add it uh, here uh, by the um, pro by the uh, file upload control so the gender ID is one uh, you know now after that you can add some data in uh, in the address fields so in the address table so here we have uh, some fields related to the address like physical address uh, postal address and the and the student id and that is the student id one okay so after adding the data uh, in the fields you can check first of all uh, or you you can run the project uh, but you notice that uh, here we have some other uh, connection errors because uh, a REST API uh, have some course property, CORS properties. Um, then you can share the informations of the database and the REST API in the uh, in the domain on the domain. So um, you got you got that some error like related to connections error, and uh, you can check the connection errors. Here we have a REST API that is successfully run, but you got some error in the console. Again, refresh it, and uh, after that, you have to just right click on the ins uh, browser and inspect element and go to the console. And here you can check that there is the course property, CORS properties. Okay, so just uh, open your API again. And uh, in the program in the startup.cs file, you can just add uh, course properties in the middleware in the configure service methods. Okay, so here we have some course properties like that, and uh, here you can add service dot add course options, and these are the options like like allow any origins, allow any headers with methods with the exposed header that is asterisk so and after that you can add uh, your course uh, in the pipelining by using app dot use course so app dot use course angular application and that name is similar with your configure service method where is your name exist so here we have a add policies okay so after that you can just run your project and see the outputs okay so that is the simple thing you can do 
that is a simple thing you can do into your project so here oops battery server is uh, down so just uh, make it plug in and uh, run your project again okay so after that you can see your output will appear after some times and here we go your output will be there and here we have some uh, filter options so just you can check the filter options and here we have some filter options like the such students abs is not there abc is there okay so everything is fine and uh, also the uh, also the uh, your paging is there uh, everything is fine so now uh, just go for the next module uh, where you can add edit and add students so the new component uh, first of all create a new component for the add student as well as the update students and sorting is very well uh, if you have some more data in the tables then you can check the sorting as well as the pagings okay so just when we click on the add student button and uh, when we click on the edit icon just uh, you can uh, view your uh, student information on the page so uh, just add a new uh, component in the uh, studio code and into your project and uh, also create a new folder for uh, for your app like uh, app we have some view student there is a fold that is the folder name view student okay so here we have and in the terminal section you just open the new terminal and student info is there okay so just uh, open cdsrc first of all enter into the um, main uh, directory and after that where you can add a new component like cdsrc cd app cd uh, view student and the next thing is to add uh, a new component in the file the file name is nggc and the file name is uh, student ui you can see now after that you can see uh, the outputs okay of the component so here we have some uh, add some component like nggc mm, and the component name is uh, student UI okay so here the student UI so here we have four files in the comp uh, in the view student and under the view student you can see uh, first of all open your html file where is your code is there so just open first of all uh, html file there is the ui part and just uh, add the code of the ui like that and one by one resolve all these errors and uh, <coughs> First of all, you can check uh, here we have a division, three divisions. First one is container and container hold all these divisions. The second one is the row that is the top space row and third row is the column inside the row. Uh, first column that is uh, 12 for the back button uh, where uh, router link is there the uh, students where all uh, the list of the student will appear. And the next thing is uh, here we have a mat icon with the go back button. And the next thing is the new second row. And in the second row, first item that is the header level. And header level is not defined in the TypeScript file. So first of all, add some uh, uh, header label as a type of string. So here we have a header label and uh, 
the header label type of the string and you can initialize that string with the empty and uh, uh, similarly we have some uh, other uh, fields related to your data like the student data so there is another uh, mat form field mat label so here we have a form and the template for uh, template driven form you can say uh, not uh, a simple form you can say and uh, you can say uh, you can add these uh, imports like uh, mat input uh, module mat uh, date picker module mat native uh, date module mat select module and snack bar module also also import these uh, modules file at here in the import section so mat date picker module one by one you can add it in the import section now after that you can add uh, some other uh, data in the single student ui where you can update and uh, add a new students so mat native module mat date picker module mat input module mat snack bar module and mat select module so after that you can add other thing in the project that is the snack bar module so here we have a code and uh, just i want to say that uh, don't forget please subscribe my channel and uh, in the later session i will discuss about the ts file that is the typescript file where the some other properties are bind with the ng model and the form okay so these are the uh, these are these are some properties so you can add these properties in the ts file like the student data that is the array of the uh, student and uh, here we have a student form that is ng form okay so it's a template driven uh, template form it's not a reactive form so it's a normal form you can say but uh, here we use mat form field mat label and the input types okay so in the later session i will discuss more about this form and uh, i will show you how to update the student as well and uh, how to add a new student in the database table and in the later video session i will discuss about how to uh, update the uh, profile image and how to edit uh, the profile image so that's easy thing you can do so uh, thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to AS, uh, ASP.NET Core REST API with Angular series. Thank you very much for watching.